In this video we will be talking about ISO vests and field of visibility in, in OSM. As you can see we have also moved to a more complex floor plan. This is going to be uh, an example of a, a ward a layout in a hospital. And to save time I have prepared the uh, OSM environment and uh, we can just dive into the presentation from here. I'm going to start from isovests and then polygonal isovest get polygonal isovest click some random point on the floor maybe in here and what you can see is actually a point let's say a vantage point the entire area that is visible from this vantage point and the edges of the vantage point which is called the polygonal uh, a polygon visibility polygon more specifically and uh, so this is a polygonal ISO vest and uh, you can click on somewhere else on the floor and get another polygonal ISO vest and somewhere in here and get another polygonal ISO vest the polygonal ISO vest is actually clipped with a large circle so if you want this area not to be limited within a specific range you can go back in here and then set the depth of isovest to something much larger let's say 200 feet instead of 60 and then I'm going to clear the uh, polygonal isovests oh sorry I cleared uh, cellular isovests instead and then uh, try to get another one okay So now you will see that the polygonal isovest extends and covers almost every point. That it can be vis visible from the floor and uh, you can get multiple different uh, isovests from the floor and if you want to exit the isovest mode uh, you can just click on this arrow button at the top and you have the possibility of changing the colors and the sizes and everything else to make it visually more interesting for yourself and you can hide the view or you can clear the view and we have the polygonal isovests but the polygonal isovests are actually modeling the field of visibility with polygons and polygons it is hard to see the relationship between polygons and cells so for that reason we have another type of isovest which is much faster to calculate but it would be uh, a way of uh, creating isovests which associates a collection of cells to this cell so this is not a polygon it's rather a collection of cell which is attributed to this uh, cell which means that these cells are visible from this cell. In other words, it can be a way of thinking that we would be approximating the edges of the polygon with the cells. And if I zoom in, you will see that. So these are the uh, uh, approximation of the visibility area with cells. So we don't have those sharp edges but this is more useful in, if you want to see what are the data associated with the cells because it saves the relationship between the cells and uh, um, we also have another uh, type of isovest which is called proxamics and it's an intuitive way of thinking how close you are to the barriers it's like a different layers of nested isovests polygonal isovests and you can get them at different places of the floor plan just gives you an idea on of how to uh, how close you are to the barriers and if you're not happy with the uh, boundaries you can set the boundaries in here and uh, okay so i will uh, i will first clear the floor and uh, then I want to show you that when you want to create isovest 
you don't have to limit yourself to visual barriers of course visual barriers make sense more than anything else but as you can see in later demonstrations physical and field edges are also very important and you can select physical barriers instead of uh, visual barriers and then get the eyes of us in that case the physical barriers will be serving as uh, visual barriers that's another way of saying that and then you can also select the visualization environment instead of OSM to beam the whole idea behind developing OSM was that we don't want to uh, make changes in the beam model as a building repository but if you're interested you can set up to beam and then go and get a polygonal isovest inside beam which will draw that polygon for you in here you can see that this polygon is actually drawn in here and uh, okay so now that we are done with the uh, isovest oh you can also go in here and see the isovest information the uh, time generation this is actually not for this isovest the isovest which was demonstrated in uh, BIM and uh, so if I get an isovest so for instance the cellular isovest in here then I can go and then I can see the information that it includes the time generation for that which you can see is much faster than polygonal isovest the area and the perimeter perimeter doesn't we don't care about the perimeter much in this uh, type of isovest okay and uh, now we can talk about the collection of isovests which will create a visibility area and uh, uh, the name of event visual event may not make sense at this point but we will get to that later right now I'm I'm more interested to show you that we can get the visibility area for uh, an area let's say that from this side of the building and then uh, if you click on this uh, on this bottom uh, you will see that the entire visible area from the floor would be highlighted in green and this is the vantage area which is highlighted in yellow and uh, in doing that we don't have to stick to one area only so we can actually go ahead and select multiple areas or uh, or pick up uh, some uh, some cells from the from the floor so it's, let's say that I want to pick up this cell and uh, this cell and this cell and then maybe add another area from here and then I'm going to also color code that I will explain what color coding means okay so the darker the uh, cells the less visible they are which means that every highlighted cell first of all is actually visible at least to one of these cells from the vantage areas and then if you have a darker cell uh, it would be less visible and if you have a lighter one it would be more visible and uh, you can see that this is the area which is totally visible you can see also a report on the visibility the number of visible cells and the area of the visible cells and if you go back to the grid information then you can see uh, another report and in total you can do the math and figure out what percentage of the entire floor is actually going to be visible for you okay um, and that's it for now